China is known for its tendency to duplicate innovations made by others. Pictures of what seems to be a drone weapon closely resembling Iran's Shahed-136 have surfaced on social media, leading to extensive discussions about where it might be headed. According to Defense Express, China seems to have crafted its own iteration of Iran's renowned Hesa Shahed-136 drone, known as the Sunflower 200. This drone is purportedly of exceptional quality and bears a striking resemblance to the original Iranian model. Its debut at China's Army 2023 exhibition has sparked worries about the spread of such drone technology. The Hesa Shahed-136, known as the Jaren-2 when used by the Russian military, is an autonomous Iranian drone created and produced by Shahed Aviation Industries. Its primary purpose is to serve as a loitering munition capable of targeting ground objectives from a distance. It is typically launched in groups of five or more from a launch rack, aimed at overwhelming enemy air defenses and depleting their resources during an attack. The drone was publicly showcased for the first time in December 2021. The Shahid-136 features an aerodynamically efficient delta-wing design, enhancing its flight stability. Additionally, it includes stabilizing rudders located at the wingtips for increased control. The front section of the drone accommodates a potent warhead, estimated to weigh between 66 to 110 pounds. With a total weight of approximately 441 pounds, the drone is capable of achieving speeds exceeding 115 miles per hour. It boasts a wingspan measuring 8.2 feet and an impressive operational range extending up to 1,553 miles. Russian military utilizes Iranian-manufactured Shahed-136 drones for precise GPS-guided strikes on vital Ukrainian infrastructure, benefiting from both accuracy and cost-effective mass production. The recently developed Chinese variant reportedly exhibits similar overall payload capacity, dimensions, and range as the original model. The reported portability of the Iranian drone's launch frame and drone assembly implies that the unit can be affixed to any military or commercial truck. The drone is launched at a slight upward angle with the assistance of rocket propulsion. Once launched, the drone's engine, which is an Iranian-made Mato MD-554 cylinder piston engine, takes control to sustain its loitering phase, and it can be inferred that the Chinese version follows a similar deployment approach. However, there exists a minor distinction. According to a report from Defense Express, Chinese engineers appear to regard their product as more technologically advanced than the Iranian original or the Russian alternative, making it more practical for use. For instance, the Chinese Sunflower 200 is reported to have a fuselage length of 10 feet, a wingspan of 8 feet, and a warhead weighing 88 pounds. Various sources cite an attack range of either 932 or 1,243 miles, with a cruising speed ranging from 99 to 137 miles per hour. These specifications, however, are largely similar to those of the Shahed 136, Despite the similarity, a notable difference lies in the launch weight of the Sunflower 200, which is only 386 pounds, compared to the known 529 pounds of the Shahed 136. This variance allows the Chinese drone to achieve vertical takeoff, likely without the need for a solid fuel booster, which is a requirement for the original Shahed. Another noteworthy detail is the stated fuel capacity of the Sunflower 200. The new drone has a declared fuel capacity of 42 U.S. gallons, for which there is no available information regarding the Shahed 136 at present, although some suggest that there is similarity with the predecessor. Currently, there is no information available regarding the production scale and timeline for China's Sunflower 200 drones. 
Likewise, it is unclear whether these drones are exclusively intended for Chinese military use or if they might also be destined for export to the Russian Federation. Regardless of the scenario, the mere existence of this alternative to the Iranian weapon poses a significant threat. Also, as highlighted by Defense Express, this development implies that Russian military forces could potentially source these lethal loitering munitions from multiple suppliers. This was like what happened in March 2023. Based on information from a Western security source, the Kremlin needed to find alternative sources for the Shahed-136 drones due to the nearing depletion of initial stockpile from Tehran. Given China's substantial manufacturing capabilities and its history of replicating military technology, it was viewed as a clear destination for Russian officials in their quest for fresh sources of munitions. In the prior report, China was alleged to have produced replicated Iranian kamikaze drones for the purpose of selling them to Russia. Chinese companies have initiated the production of multiple cloned versions of Iranian-made kamikaze drones, amid increasing suspicions that Russia might turn to Beijing as a source for these munitions for potential use in Ukraine. There were at least three drones available for sale on a Chinese internet forum specializing in showcasing defense products, including military-grade unmanned aerial vehicles that closely resembled the Shahed-136 loitering munition employed by the Kremlin to target Ukrainian towns and cities. One of those included the TL-180, which came with a promise to enhance the Iranian product by featuring a more robust airframe and the capability to function both as a suicide drone equipped with a warhead and as a surveillance tool capable of multiple flights. China has also already faced allegations of aiding Moscow in its Ukraine campaign by permitting a continuous stream of electronics components and advanced engineering materials, including aircraft spares, which in certain instances have been falsely labeled for civilian aviation purposes. Furthermore, there is also evidence pointing to a complex relationship involving China, Russia, and Iran. Previous accusations suggested that Chinese companies have been supplying HESA, Iran's aircraft manufacturing industrial company, with numerous components, including parts that could potentially be used in the production of Shahed-136 drones, which are then supplied to Moscow. However, besides directly purchasing fully assembled explosive drones, Russia has the option to seek assistance in procuring components for the production of their own Shahed-136 drones. Thanks for watching.